First question right here on the standing on the right. Mano, what did you guys say to uh, over here, Jabari on Express News? What, what did you guys say to Kawhi uh, to get him motivated to come out and have the type of performance that he had tonight? I didn't say a word. Uh, I'm pretty sure Pop did. You know, push him a little bit. Um, but hey, the guy is 22, 23. He played a couple okay games. He didn't even play bad. And we, we trust him. We, we knew he was going to step up. Probably not, I don't know if this game, but the next one. He's a great player. And he, he was going to be there because he's, he has done it before. So I know Pop talked to him, uh, maybe TD a little bit. Uh, but I, I, I'm, I don't think that, you know, everybody go and talk to him talk to him and, and tell him how important he is for the team. He knows. Uh, he understands what we do, how important he is for us. Uh, he just played a great game. How impressive was that first half for you guys? I mean, putting up the amount of points. You've done it throughout the playoffs, had big halves like this, but against this team, is it, was that huge? No, yeah, no, it was, it was huge. Um, and that, especially the first quarter, was incredible. Uh, at a point, I think we were 19 for 20. Uh, I don't know what we shot at the end of the quarter, but it, it was fun to watch and it was one of those games that it happens once in a while uh, we may play 20 30 games and that's not going to happen again so uh, it was our turn we were very inspired early in the game we took a, a great lead uh, we we sort of maintained it uh, at a point in the third quarter it, it got rough because they uh, cut the deficit to seven and you know they, they, they crowd uh, pushing them and they were all excited it, it got complicated but uh, we kept playing we uh, we kept kept moving the, the ball I uh, started to make a couple shots again uh, and we we got it back to 15 that we really needed it Tim here in the front Mono Tim Reynolds of the Associated Press you touched on it in the last answer but when you guys are shooting 19 for 21 one do you shoot that well in warm-ups even in two What's the conversation like among you guys when, when everyone's making everything? When you guys went like 11 and a half minutes without missing a shot, that, that obviously can't be something you imagine was no, possible. For sure. It's not something you can uh, plan. You can, there was no magic plays. There was, you know, we just moved the ball and every shot went in. The, the good thing is that at the same time what that was happening on on offense, we were pretty good defensively too. So that helped us get that 20 point lead or uh, 16 in one quarter. So it, it was a good, great team effort. So uh, we, we took advantage of that uh, percentages. So it, it was fun to play like that. Go ahead on the left side. The, the swings in this, in, the, in this series, even in games, even in quarters, have been, have been pretty dramatic. Did you guys expect that coming in? And how do you sort of try to maintain you know, a rhythm through, through all of those ups and downs? Yeah, it's a game of runs. It, it always happens. You're not going to find many games in which the difference is always plus four, minus four. It happens once in a while. Uh, probably you're not going to see a final that often that after 15 minutes we are up 20. That's pretty unrealistic, but uh, they, they really have the potential to make runs. I, I said it multiple, multiple times. Uh, they are very energetic defensively. They got players that can score in bunches. They got shooters spread out. So it can happen and they make a run. Uh, and we expected it. Uh, and I'm very proud that we, we kept playing and we built up the lead again after uh, they cut it to, to seven. So it, it was great to see that in a, in a tough atmosphere with a great opponent that is, you know, two times champion. So it, it was a great effort. Same row, Sam on the lay aisle. Manu, Sam Amick, USA Today. As you know better than anybody, the way you guys play offensively, your offense might, you know, come and go individually. With Kawhi, we don't always see what we saw in the first quarter. You've been around the league a long time. What kind of ceiling does he have? When it comes to the offense, the, the defense is what he, he's, you know, defense first, but offensively, what do you see? No, he, 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 he has talent. He has many ways of scoring. Uh, his handles are good. Uh, we don't give him the ball to play a pick and roll, but he can do it. The uh, thing is that most of the times it's either Tony or me uh, running those pick and rolls, but 
he has the whole package. He, he has a great three-point shot. Everybody saw it, and, uh, and his percentages during the season were great. He can post up, mid-range game. So, uh, you know, he's young. Uh, he's in a team where, you know, it's not like we go at him every time. So he, he does have a great potential. But it's going to depend on him, as always, of not being too satisfied with what he's doing now, working at it, uh, and develop. So he's in a great spot with a great coach, uh, hopefully with a good team to, to develop him. But uh, no, his potential is really, really uh, hard to uh, define or, or to be sure about. Last two here in the, and then the fourth row. All right, Michael Wallace, ESPN.com. Uh, Manu, can you talk about what you guys did this game to disrupt them from a defensive standpoint? You turned them over 10 times in each half, scored 23 points off of their 20 turnovers. Uh, you know, sometimes it happens. It happened to us in game one. We, we turned the ball over 22 times. Sometimes you are a little sloppy and you, and sometimes it happens. You know, you make a pass and bounce off your feet and, uh, and you turn it over. Uh, I think we were more aggressive. We, our hands were much better. Uh, the help was a little earlier than, you know, rather than late. So we, we forced them to, to turn the ball over a little bit more. But I'm pretty sure we didn't force them to turn the ball over 20 times. Probably the same way that they didn't force us in game one to turn the ball over 23 times. So it's one of those games that it happens. They, they played an average game at most, and we were pretty good. So that's why the difference. Last one. Three. ESPN San Antonio. Do, do you think Kawhi's offensive explosion will overshadow what he did to LeBron tonight, defensively? Um, Hopefully not. He, he, he was sharp. He was very attentive. Uh, the team helped him more, too. But, um, no, he had a, a, a great game both ends of the floor. It's really hard to, to, you know, to make LeBron score under 25. And you know, scoring 30 in a final is really hard to do. So an unbelievable game by Kawhi and one of the main reasons uh, with the ball movement we had, why we, we won this game like this. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Tim Duncan will be next for uh, Miami.